Hi there, so scopes are really handy 3D masks that you can use inside your scene. They can be plugged into anything really, but materials and scatterers are a good one. Uh, so just to illustrate how they work, I'm going to switch over to a matte shader that I've set up, which I'm just going to turn that on. Um, and it's just a black matte shader at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the folder that I'm viewing here so that I can see my scope while I make it. I'm going to right click type scope and then we're going to grab the second one here which is a uh, 3d object rather than this one which is a texture utility that we'll be using in a bit um, once it's there i'm going to scale it up a bit and bring it up here and as you can see we have this uh, 3d box that we're now seeing uh, this could be switched to a sphere or a cylinder i'm just going to use a sphere and i'm going to try and get it roughly around this rock so i'm just going to scale it and bring it slightly down. Cool, so we've got the 3D scope and now we need to turn it into a 2D texture. So I'm gonna come into my matte uh, material here. I'm gonna right click and type scope again and then this time we will be using the texture utility version of it. And in here you can plug in as many scopes as you want and as many 3D scopes as you want into this and it will convert them into a texture for you. So if I go and grab my scope um, you see it's added here and we're saying anything inside the scope is white, anything outside is black. And then I'm going to grab the texture, bring it into here and connect it to the colour. And there we go, you see we're now getting a uh, sphere around our scope. And you know I can move this around and we can change the fall off on it. Uh, and we've basically, you know, we've got a 3D mask now which can be pretty handy. Um, and just to uh, illustrate the layering of the scopes that you can do. I'm going to copy and paste this one uh, and let's turn it into a box and we'll bring it over here so uh, and then I'm going to go back to my texture scope here I'm going to add this second scope in which at the moment it's currently set to union so they're adding together or we can set it to intersection and then we we'll only get it where they're crossing over each other. So you can add as many as you want in together and it can be quite handy. Now I'm going to show you a slightly more practical use of this. Um, I'm just going to delete this scope and then I'm going to come back to my shading layer here and I'm going to turn off this uh, matte shader. So now we're just looking at my mud shader. Uh, and I've actually got two mud shaders here, one like this and one with a few more stones in it. So let's say that we want to have um, our more stony mud shader around this rock. So uh, I'm going to come to my dirt here and here I've got my blend and this is built up of the two muds and um, at the moment we've got nothing in the weight of the second layer so this second layer is over the top of the first so we're going to right click here once again type scope grab the texture scope and just like before we can add in the scope we created and then I can drag that in there into here and use it as the weight or alpha of our second layer um, and then I just need to switch my um, shading layer to actually view the blend. There we go. Uh, and as you can see now, we're getting a blend between the two shaders, which can be really useful. Obviously, it's not super elegant in this setup, but um, it's got a lot of potential. So we can take this one step further and make the edges a little bit nicer and a little bit more useful for this. So just to make it easier to see, I'm going to go back to the matte shader. Um, where we've got our nice circle here. Uh, I'm going to middle mouse on this to get back to the shader. Let's make a bit more space here. So we've got our scope giving us this, but it's a bit of a nasty edge, isn't it? So um, I'm going to right click in here and type fractal. And then just so we can see what's happening, I'm going to plug this into the map. There we go. Uh, I'm going to turn it, turn turbulent off because I think it gives a better result and I'm going to go all the way down to 0 0.025 for the scale. There we go, we've got a nice little noise there. So what we can do is we can use this to minus away from our uh, scope. So I'm going to get a multi-blend, the uh, texture version, plug this in here and I actually want the scope to be layer 1 take this out of the opacity, I'm going to put that on layer 2. Uh, so at the moment the uh, fractal noise is just over the scope. Uh, I want to subtract them from each other. So there we go, we've got this uh, nicer edge to it now. 
Now, if you did want to keep the interior of it 100% white, which we're currently losing a bit of here, uh, what we could do is come into our layout where we've got our scope again, and I'm actually going to copy this one, paste a new one, and I'm gonna turn down the fall off a little bit and scale it down so that the, we've got like an interior sphere here that we can use in here. So I'm gonna come back into the texture. I'm gonna right click, type scope again, get another texture scope. And this time we're gonna be adding in our second one, which is scope one. And I'm gonna come to here, tick on a third layer and drag this into the third layer. And what we can do is we can set this to addition. So we're refilling the center of our mask. If I just turn it off, you can see what's happening there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can really add these in any sort of combination to make more complex edges. Um, and if I take this, I'm gonna copy this little setup I've got here, take it into our dirt here, where we've got the multi-blend, and it's gonna paste it here. And instead of just using that one single scope, we'll use this new setup. Um, Give a bit more space. Okay, and I'll replace the mask with this one. And if I come back and turn off my matte shading layer, we're back to the original. Uh, and it's got a slightly nicer edge. Now it's gotten a little bit small, probably need to uh, scale up my first scope to see the effect a bit more. Um, but the blend is a little bit more natural now. There's kind of a bit of an edge to it. It's harder to tell it's happening. So I hope that's useful for you. Uh, I'm sure that you'll make things look a lot nicer than this, this quick tutorial has, but hopefully you get the idea of how to use scopes.